Hi, hey, hello. If you're new here, my name is Rain. If you're not new here, welcome back. I really appreciate you stopping on by. If you can hear the dogs breathing, I am sorry. I do my best to edit them out. It's not always possible. And they take precedence over my filming schedule, apparently. If you can hear scratching, I just adopted four rescue kittens. And they're not allowed to free roam the house 24 seven, even though they want to. <laughs> so, <laughs> I hope that gets all of the weird audio out of the way. But what we're actually doing is we're gonna be working on Drawtober prompt number five, which is Dolls in the Attic. Now, I just filmed 23 minutes or so of me freehanding an ink sketch because I have art block. And I decided I hate the video idea and I don't wanna put out that low quality of content for you guys just because of art block. So what I'm actually going to be doing is, yes, this is a bandit secret work in progress. No, that is not what we're doing. What I actually wanna do, just to spice up my life a little bit, uh, this is a like 1970s uh, characteristic of functions textbook that was for free on a table at my community college years ago. And I picked it up thinking, hey, it's a free book. You never know when you're gonna need old math pages, right? And that was a little bit before my artistic awakening, right around the time of it. And I think deep down, I really wanted to do something with art and old textbooks. And today's the day. I'm doing it, guys. I'm starting a project. This book is gonna take me my entire lifetime to fill with art because I highly doubt I'll get the uh, desire to do this often. But what I want to do is I want to do some dull character design and sketching on a few of these pages, playing around with it, and just forcing myself to get out of art block by doing what I enjoy doing the most, which is character drawings and character illustrations. So that's what we'll be doing. I think I'm going to skip these clear pages because it feels like cheating, but this also feels like a really good opening page to having to draw on words and be able to see it. I think I might have to work in pencil, so this page is going to be a swatch test page so I see how much stuff shows through. So I'll probably fast forward through that. We'll see. We'll see where I end up. I'm still in art block but I am a lot more excited right now than I was working on that other project I was just doing. Like I just stopped that video and was like, I'm doing literally anything else. So I'm not gonna note what pens I'm using next to these swatches. I'm pretty familiar with my pens and their quality and how they look enough and also I would rather just note the ones that don't work than the ones that do work and then have a lot more space so let's see no that's actually pretty good I think all of those are usable this one might be a little bit bold but I don't think it'll be too bad and I don't use that pen very often I don't think I'm gonna test markers and I don't feel like testing graphite transfer right now. So we'll see. White gel pen is gonna be fine. I'm not worried about that one. So, doll anatomy. That sounds really weird. But I think that in my head, oh, where do I want next to be? Like a doll, not an art style uh, that's dollish, but like I want to establish where I want the joints and I want to think about how I want them to look a little bit first, so. I definitely want, it's already built into my art style inherently to have that part on a more feminine quote unquote or busty chest to have this line here in my art style, which I think is pretty indicative of the this bit popping onto a torso piece. But I want it to be more defined, I think. So this is all like one piece of doll. I want it to be clear that what comes out from under it is 
like shoved into this plastic bit. So the lines will probably be darker. One of the big reasons the kittens aren't allowed to play out in the rest of the house throughout the day is because of our Pyrenees puppy, Anya. Because Anya thinks everyone wants to be her best friend. And as much as the kittens don't mind the other dogs, she's a bit too big and unaware of herself. So she like goes up to our grown cats and she thinks that they can like handle her intensity and her large size for playing. And she gets a little bit too rough when she's too excited. So we're like, no, nope, not with, not with babies. Now that we've kind of explored the joints, let's just, I guess, defile these people's names with fun, fun designs. What do I want to do first? Let's do a portrait. I might have to draw darker just so I could define my lines easier. When I say doll, I mean, I think to an extent, I do want a lot of these to be a little bit less, um, explicitly like baby dolls but maybe more like doll like features so i do think i want to try puffy cheeks which i don't really draw ever just as soft features not really that eye dent that i really do my usual style you know it's a lot harsher you know i don't think i want to pursue that i think i want to go soft I think I want to go squishy, which I don't have a lot of experience with, so we'll see how well it turns out, but I do, I do feel a lot more inspired already than with what I was working on. I think a lot of dolls that I look at and think they're pretty have very, like, kind of, not very, but, like, slightly droop it up drooped eyes. I feel like now might be a good point to mention that, like, I don't like dolls. Like, on a more serious note, I don't mind certain like doll styles like a lot of the more modern dolls vintage dolls for the most part kind of creep me out but i'm just not really a doll person it's not my thing um i think the closest i've ever gotten to owning a doll is i want the hollow from spice and wolf nendroid doll so that's the only doll i think i'm ever gonna own so I don't have any physical references which is something I'm oddly reliant on I found I do a lot of my drawings based on hair for a doll a lot of the dolls that I see people talk about as being like really pretty very curly waves that way we can do like a massive bow one because I like drawing massive bows two it feels doll like and it gives me an excuse to do something uh, something I tend to very much enjoy. You know, I think she's looking kind of cute. I don't know how well she can be seen yet. I'm hoping she can be seen pretty well. But this is very much a lot more enjoyable than what I was doing. Okay, if I was drawing normally, I would place her neck here. And I would curve and I'd bring her shoulder to here. Which is outside the bound. So let's put a circle for the ball joint. I don't know if that makes sense, but like it's not squishy. So I want it to be kind of like the proper shape regardless i don't know if that makes sense i also just realized you guys are at a weird angle i don't know if you guys like that more though maybe we'll see i don't like it more whoa wait gotta move my mug okay <laughs> i want a big off the shoulders thing here yeah i like this i like this a lot not like the sketch itself the sketch is fine um, not that it's like bad, but I'm not in love with it yet. I don't know if I will be because I'm not, I'm really like not used to this type of hair. So I'm not sure how I'll feel like properly like rendering it. I am loving the sketching in this textbook. Like I'm very much enjoying the feel of this like old paper and I'm very much enjoying the kind of experience that's coming from it. If you guys want to see me sketch in this more, I would love to post more videos like that. Of course, I, I tend to do what I want because people don't usually have like 
hard thoughts. A lot of people kind of, when I put up polls and I ask, they're like, do what you want. Or they say like, I don't care. I'm just here for the ride. That's usually what I put as one of my poll options. So people don't usually have a lot of care, but if you guys like it, or if you want something new, I'm always open to suggestions. So if you guys like this uh, sketching in old textbook thing, I'm, I have a whole book, you know, a whole book to go through at my leisure. I have old textbooks that I like bought for my education a long, long time ago that I can also definitely draw in. I'm probably never going to ever need over half of them again. I will say, I would feel a little bit worse about this if it wasn't a characteristics of function book. <laughs> I mentioned it before on my channel. I'm a huge, huge fan of referencing old science books for scientific drawing references and for ideas on creating like goofy and like kooky creatures. Like I'm a huge fan of it and I have quite a few. I definitely wouldn't be like covering any of that up ever if ever sketching in those types of books. I'm actually really starting to like the sketch. I'm worried that when I um, prop it up more, it might look a little wonky, but that's okay. I wish I could put polls like in my YouTube video directly. That would be really cool. I don't like this nose. Let me, give me a second. Sorry, I had to make sure the book didn't say where I got it from. I have no idea where this is, if you guys could see that. What don't I like about this nose? Fixed it. <laughs> I didn't do much, but I think it's a, it's not a shape thing. It's like a style thing. This is also my first sketch I've done in a minute since Art Block has started. So I don't, I don't think I have high standards for it. And I think I'm a little bit maybe like excessively proud of it. I tend to get that way when I've had Art Block and I've just been really not feeling motivated to draw. Like my first good drawing after not feeling motivated is like, wow. I'm an artist still. <laughs> I don't know if any of you guys have common experiences like that if you are artists, so. I think art block is a little bit less for me, like feeling like my art sucks and more so like me going through like a really bad period in my art where I'm like actually creating, technically speaking, lesser quality work, whether that be time related or me having like an issue practicing something. I feel like a lot of my art block comes from I try something new and it's like either not going quite as planned or it's like kind of changing my style a tiny bit and I'm trying to adapt to it. I don't know though. I try to draw in pen every day a little doodle. Not like a daily drawing thing. Sometimes those doodles are just like little pen stars with faces and stuff like that. Nothing like actually particularly artistic, I guess you could say, or impressive. Maybe I should just start drawing Kirby every time I have art, or every day. A Kirby a day makes the art block go away. I'm, I'd consider it. I consider drawing Kirby daily. I didn't think through how dull cleavage might be indicated. This is a question I've never had presented to me in my life before. I think that's a compromise. I think that's an acceptable compromise. I want this ball joint to be super prominent because she looks she looks like a doll for my style probably not most other people's styles who have like soft features i do soft eyes but i don't really do soft faces a whole lot so i want these more inorganic bodily components to be present like drawing over like actual literature in terms of like someone's novels and i don't really feel like violating any of the classics i own because most of them have like fancy covers because my grandma was an English professor for a lot of years at a college. So a lot of my classics are kind of like fancy. I don't like a lot of the classics I own, but my grandma is very insistent that they are the best literature in the world and everyone needs to read it. So my least fancy classic is War and Peace, <laughs> which is one of her all time favorites. Not that any of you guys need this information. Fun little chat. I don't know. This is the type of stuff I really like listening to other people talk about when they're doing like sketch with me's and stuff like that. And I kind of just want this to be almost a real time video, but I'm realizing now I can't actually show a lot of the dull characteristic if she's in a nice dress with how I formatted it. Cause her legs aren't going to fit. At least I didn't sketch her so that I can be bringing them up here. 
nicely but drawing off with her hair alpha decomposition wow she's a doll so she probably doesn't have like a super defined back region inside probably meant to look like too dainty for her chest size or you know what i mean yeah this is definitely helping my art block i had kind of considered like making a video on art block and how it manifests for me I'm glad I did this first because this is something I actually would like suggest people try out if they like wanted to try something new to deal with art block. Like this has been really fun. This has been really fun. And I feel a lot better than I was. Let's see how this looks for you guys. You guys can see in my tea. The weird like specks you can see is wax. My partner has bees. Yeah, this is cute. I like it. Have we appreciated it? Have we appreciated her enough for me to maybe ruin her with a highlighter? Is she more of a green or a purple? Let's compromise and go blue. I don't think any of the people who saw this thought that this was where the video was gonna end up quality wise. I definitely was not on my A game. I don't remember what this pen looks like. Not super intense shading, just a little bit of color. Ooh, let's try and compromise. She's cute, I like her a lot. I don't think that pen's gonna show up super well currently. I know it probably looks borderline creepy right now. I have to go back later and fix that, which I'll probably like forget to do until I open this in like two weeks. Honestly, I'm not someone who like remembers to go back and do things super easily. Doing this. Let's stop here because I have to go to work. <laughs> and then I will come back and put like a full body piece on this page. I think that sounds good. So future rain will have more sketching to do and we'll see how much of this actually ends up <laughs> in the video. So. I'll see you guys soon. Future Rain here. I decided to do a kind of body sketch. It's not a firm one. I don't plan to have the hand showing. I want big ruffles, I think. But I'll get there when I get there. Just kind of a base body to try and put clothes on. To I was mostly just trying to get these joints in place. And then I'll refine it now. Just like general anatomy. I feel like the words actually make it a little hard to have the thighs quite how I want them. I do want them to appear thinner, like more sickly, I think, because I feel like a lot of dolls are like, um, like uncomfortably skinny a lot of the time. And I'm going here for, for, for more classic, classic kind of feeling. So I do need to slender up a bit of this just to have that kind of sickly feel to it. This foot's stiff. I don't really know what I want to do with it yet. I think I actually want to curve it backwards like that. Not sure though. Base pose down though. Now it's for trying to put clothes on it. Yeah, I don't even know how much like this appearing will matter, you know? I don't know what it's gonna, what she's gonna be wearing yet. She doesn't have any features. But since this is Drawtober and we are in the season of Halloween. I do want to have a slightly more Halloween themed one. Oh yeah, I went through and I added some pen. I played around with her. I do like her less than I did when I actually was working on her. Like she's definitely off, but for being my first sketch with art block and my first sketch of the day, I'm still happy with her. Definitely not like best work type quality though. Not like overtly proud, just satisfied, good enough, a good sketch, you know? So there's that. And I think for a like loose fitting witch hat, I wanted to start with this maybe hat because I wanna see how I feel about it. I wanna see how I feel and give it a lot of time to sit in while I sketch out an outfit. I wanna see how I feel about it. Let that sit there for a minute while I work on some frilly, frilly clothing. I very much, I keep trying to curl this down, like this isn't, not ancient, but you know. I do want to have kind of the shapes, this triangle shape consistent in the clothing. 
all of this just needs to be slendered up for the aesthetic I'm trying to achieve with the doll vibe. I do want to keep this triangle consistent, so I think I want a more corsety shape, maybe? Center of the chest. And that way I can follow this line, this bust line that I was talking about earlier. Nope. Earlier on the other side of this, where it was like... Oh yeah, because then I can have like this flare and that'll accentuate that hip. I like this. It, it accentuates those lines I was talking about. So um, I'm actually very small, um, like stature wise. So I don't feel like I'm cheating too much by having the hands not be visible because you can't see my fingers when I wear this shirt. And then it's, um, it's off the shoulder. So that way I can feel kind of justified in my, or not justified. It's like allowing me to show off the bald joint. I don't know if I want her to be a witch yet. So I don't know if I want to think about the skirt. I might want it to be more thematic. I feel like awkward just giving dolls like non... I do think I want big doe eyes again, but they're really clearly not super my style. Like I'm, I don't, I don't think I do them very well. I don't think it really suits the way I tend to draw. I like that to stay propped up on my computer corner. I always have people looking up. I don't know why. Do I need to analyze same face syndrome and just the eyeballs alone? Because I feel big for the face. I think I might like the witchy thing, but I don't know. So we're going to keep playing with it. This one goes over, this one's going under. And that I think I want to be more of a like, petticoat. Not petticoat. Can you tell that I don't have like any knowledge in talking about skirts. Oh, I was touching my mic. Oops. Sorry, guys. Just show off like two fingers. There we go. I have so little confidence in drawing witch hats, so very floppy one. How about that? Let's see. I think this might be my favorite brush pen to just like sketch in. It's stiff enough that I feel like I have control. I have a very hard time feeling like I'm like in control. This is gonna be the worst witch head I've drawn in a long time. Yeah, yeah, I think I like this. I am sorry I didn't end up feeling up to a more like exciting illustration for Dolls in the Attic. I wanted to do Lies of P fan art, but I decided that I don't really want to be under the pressure of Drawtober when I do it because I'm really enjoying the game and I'm really enjoying the content, I want to be able to take my time with it and explore concepts a little bit more, not confine it to the dolls in the attic prompt like I was originally going to. Yeah, I think she looks good annoyed. I like that irritated kind of feel that the black eyes are giving her. Somehow I didn't even do a full illustration, but I somehow managed to spend just as much time on it now that I think about it. I do have the line art already done, for prompt six, luckily. It was the first prompt I worked on. Oh, I hope that light's not too bothersome. It was actually the first prompt I worked on, so I've been like waiting to color it for a long time. I'm not as excited about it as I was when I like did the line art, obviously, because I've gone through the entirety of Drontober up until now. It's not quite as like satisfying as it would have been if I had aligned it immediately. Like I've been like just looking at this line art like I'm gonna get to color you one day. If for nothing else to to have the line art get colored how I want it to be. I might do the coloring digitally like my last several Drawtober videos have gone so far. As far as like doing some digital component even if there was at least a traditional component as well. Preserve the liner and get to color it at a later date where I'm feeling a little bit more invigorated. But I don't know. Let me know if you guys have any opinions on that down below. <laughs> I asked you guys a lot of questions today. I hope that's not too troublesome. I think pure blacks look good in old text. I think I'm liking how that, that comes across. Kind of an oval more than a circle, but that's okay. At least place this as major, major shadow I can. There's something weird about like being on YouTube and like doing this like talking to not to a camera but like because i'm not looking at it it's pointing at my my thing it's more like at i guess there's just something odd about it where i'm like i just feel like it's weird that i like can't ask how people's days are going 
and like get a response. It's like, hmm, what a what an odd conversation to be having. Ooh, where's my there's just something about this brush pen that like makes me more confident when I'm working in harsh blacks. I feel more invigorated to just hatch away and stuff. So I found that it's been very good for just having fun, which is what this is about. Which is what most of my art is about for me. Having fun, creating. Even when I'm working on my like disability representation work and my more depressing work, it's a fun experience to get to create something so real to myself, I suppose would be a good way of articulating that. It feels so human, I suppose. Not that creating characters and designing things for fictitious stories isn't real in its own sense, it just doesn't feel as much like a depiction of myself through art quite as much as my more like personal and illness focused work can do. I think it's a better like get to know me tactic if you're really seeking like information about how I think. I think there's more of an exercise to presenting yourself that way maybe. Let's see here. Can I? That's a nice texture. I don't know what it is about it but I just really like that texture. Alrighty. Time for the fun part. I think it's gonna take a long time for this to dry enough to erase more of the pencil. Should have lightened it. I suppose this is very much out of the realm of everything else I've done for Drawtober. So I hope for those who were looking for very consistent Drawtober work, you did not stick around probably because my Drawtober work was not so consistent so far. And then for people on my channel, I'm sure you guys are used to this behavior from me, just changing my mind most of the way through something and deciding to experiment in ways that I would have otherwise not thought to, which is a big part of what I like about these types of, I don't want to say events, um, challenges. The ways that it gives you the ability to just do something out of your own comfort zone without like people being able to like judge you as harshly is really nice. I say as I proceed to add metallic colors and make this progressively more indicative of my art. Oh, but what if I fill the little lines? Ah. Yeah, I like that. That's adorable. And her little piercings that got lost in the dark. Okay. So while I doodle a little familiar for her. I should say my outro. That was my hand. So if you liked this video, uh, please leave me a like. A dislike if you dislike. I would really appreciate it if you uh, let me know what you thought down below, your feelings, your general would, do's, don'ts. If you tend to do art in little old textbooks and stuff like that, uh, let me know. I'm very interested in people's opinions, other people who like do this work more seriously and more commonly. Kind of the consensus on how to best approach it, especially people who do book carving. That sounds like a really stressful hobby. Yeah. He's a cute little guy. Uh, so that was the general checklist. So, uh, finally, if you forgot that was a different golden pen. So finally, if you're interested in seeing more from me, feel free to subscribe. I always appreciate people coming along and joining me in my little corner of the internet. And then I suppose finally, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, night, wherever you are, and that you enjoy sitting with me for my little journey. So bye-bye. <laughs>